Today, we're gonna to tie up some loose ends. First things first, I know you've all been hanging out for my remaining three fancy overpriced gum reviews. Fancy ginger gum, it's not bad. I just, I don't know why I would wanna chew ginger. Fancy coffee gum, it kinda of tastes like I'm chewing a chocolate milk, which is not bad. Although chewy milk, usually not a good thing. Fancy cinnamon gum, this might be the winner out of all six of them. It's not hot like Big Red, it's more like chewing cinnamon toast crunch, which come on. Next, as I'm sure you are all well aware, there are only nine more sleeps until everyone's favorite holiday, International and Universal Infinity Day. I'm still not entirely sure what it is, but Boy, are we gonna celebrate it. So everyone, stop what you're doing right now and leave me a comment with your deepest philosophical question. And on Sunday, August 8th, we're just gonna answer all of them. We're just gonna finish philosophy. Tick, done, next. Number three, glitter update. Now bear in mind, I have vacuumed this carpet multiple times, but if I just blindly put my hand down on the carpet, still everywhere. Occasionally still, when I'm brushing my hair, glitter falls out. What do you, what do, you do? What do you do? Next up, McDonald's time capsule update. Guys, I, we're not there yet, but we're getting there. To quickly get you up to speed, we're trying to figure out what was in the time capsule that got buried at Glen Waverley McDonald's in 1973. Nobody seems to know. Don Gorski, forget it. Total fizzle out, have not heard a word. But I have heard a word from a delightful woman named Sue who got in touch to say, Hi Chris, I'm writing to you regarding the capsule at the Glen Waverley McDonald's in the early 70s. I was working at the Croydon McDonald's store. I contributed to putting something into that time capsule. We were asked to put something in it. For the life of me, I can't remember what I put in it. I do remember putting my name in it and of course forgot years later to go back to the store when it was supposed to be opened. I've always wondered what happened to it and if it did get opened in the year 2000. She didn't watch my video and then start wondering. She started wondering what happened to that time capsule, Googled Glenn Waverly McDonald's time capsule and my video popped up. So I was chatting to Sue for a bit and she said, I do remember items that McDonald's had went into the capsule saying donated by Croydon store and our names went in. Then a few of us went to the store to see the capsule. I remember the items were things that had McDonald's on them. So in time we could see what changed with the items. So what we've learned here is that it wasn't just the Glen Waverly Waverly McDonald's project. This was an Australia-wide collection. All of the McDonald's, I don't know how many it was by then, probably like five, but all of them were invited to contribute. The names of the employees went in, various McDonald's memorabilia went in. Guys, we're on the path. We are on the right track here. Anyway, Sue, legend that she is, is gonna go away, do some investigating, see if she can call somebody, figure this out, and if she finds out anything, she's gonna let us know. So, Again, we play the waiting game, but we wait with hope because we know that this is bigger than us guys. The people want to know. In the meantime, don't forget, comment below with your big philosophical questions. We should be able to knock them all off in a five minute video, right? Easy. Philosophy is just thinking. We're thinking all the time.